There are so many rooftop tent options on the market today, it can be hard to maybe decide which one to choose. Today, we're gonna to be doing a long-term review of the Smitty Belt Overlander XL rooftop tent. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Aaron, and I wanna welcome you to this episode of Big Man Overland. Today, we're gonna to be talking about rooftop tents, and more specifically, the Smitty Belt Overlander XL. There are so many tent options from swags to ground tents, even sleeping in a hammock when you're going out and camping and overlanding. But nothing really is as comfortable, in my opinion, as a rooftop tent. Rooftop tents give you a nice flat surface to sleep on. Many of them come with a foam mattress, high density foam mattress inside. And the Smitty Built Overlander XL is perfect for us and our size family. This tent sleeps four to five. Now I wouldn't say that it sleeps four to five comfortably, but it does sleep four to five. When we have our tent set up, it's really just me and my wife in the tent. And then Smitty Built does have an annex that can attach to it. And that's where our children sleep. The Smitty Built has a nice aluminum durable platform that attaches to a roof rack system. It's also made of a very durable 600D waterproof ripstop poly. Comes with a rain fly, as well as a retractable aluminum ladder. The Smitty Built Overlander XL tent does have two mesh windows and two mesh entrances. However, the back entrance, or what I call the rear entrance, uh, acts really just as a large mesh window that allows for really great wind flow cross breeze through the tent. Now, this tent does include a two inch high density foam mattress. Now, the foam mattress is great, however, it's not that comfortable. So we opted to add another two and a half inch memory foam mattress topper to it. This gives us almost five inches of mattress, plus we lay down sleeping bags, blankets, whatever else there might be. So it really does allow for a really comfortable sleep at night, which as you know, when you're out camping, sleep can be very hard to come by. So this is almost like sleeping in a hotel, which is so nice. Setup is really easy. It probably takes five, maybe 10 minutes uh, maximum when you're staking the fly down and things like that. When you put it away, it takes about the same amount of time. Just depends on your setup and how much you're opening up or not. The Smitty Bill Overlander XL is a budget friendly tent. Well, I say budget friendly. It all depends on the budget that you have, right? So you can opt for a hammock or a ground tent and you're gonna spend hundred bucks or less. This, you're looking at around $1,000. Now in comparison with other rooftop tents, that's actually really affordable. Other rooftop tents can go to 2,000, 3,000 and up. It gets pretty dang pricey. If you're only going camping two, three, four times a year, this is a really great option for you. However, if you're going more consistently and going for longer periods of time, you may want to go for a different tent, hard shell that sets up and tears down anywhere within 60 to 90 seconds. Now here's what I like and don't like about this rooftop tent. We'll start with what I like. I love that it's a rooftop tent. I don't have to worry about sleeping on the hard, uneven ground, worrying about sleeping pads, sleeping bags, and animals, insects, all that kind of stuff. Being able to sleep up high on a flat, comfortable surface with a five inch mattress is super, super nice. Feels like you're sleeping in a hotel when you're out in the middle of the woods. Another thing that I like is that it sets up and tears down fairly quickly. I mean, you're looking at around 15 minutes, which isn't awful. Some ground tents can take up to that long depending on the size of your tent. So that is a really nice feature as well. Now what I don't like, I don't like that it takes 10 to 15 minutes to set up and tear down each time. That's, that's so much in comparison to other rooftop tents. So that is a downfall to me. The next downfall is the retractable aluminum ladder. This thing is horrible. Now they have come out with a new telescopic ladder, which is so much better, but this one on this tent is ridiculous. It gets stuck all the time, the pins get stuck, dirt gets in the track, and at the very top when you come out, the top of the ladder, we had to wrap it in tape because it was rough, sharp metal around the edge. And so we would come out, we would scrape up our legs coming out of the tent. That is not good. Thankfully, they have fixed that in this new ladder that they have. 
Now the question that I've been asked before is, would I buy this same tent again? Probably not, to be honest with you. Not because of the quality of the tent or the durability of the tent or even the size of the tent, but honestly because of how long it takes to set up and tear down. 15 minutes is a long time in comparison to uh, say a roof nest or uh, a James Baroud tent that can set up and tear down within a minute, maybe 90 seconds max. And so when you're going on a long trip, that was, those 15 minutes of set up and tear down, 30 minutes a day, adds up over a week long trip. So yes, it's a great tent, budget friendly, but if I had a little bit more money to spend, I probably actually would go for like the iCamper XL uh, because that is a hard shell, opens up quick, has an annex, allows for more people to sleep like our kids and us. It's a really great option. So if you're looking to get into overlanding and you're looking for a good starter rooftop tent, Look into the Smoothiebilt Overlander tents. They have the XL, which is this large one that sleeps four to five. And then they also have their regular Overlander tent, which sleeps two to three. I want to thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Big Man Overland as we do a long-term review of the Smoothiebilt Overlander XL rooftop tent. I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that like button. Why don't you go ahead and share this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the content that we're going to be putting out over the next few months. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.